tensions are rising in Catalonia, an independence referendum is planned for October the 1st. And if the majority vote yes, the Catalan government says it will declare independence from Spain. We are ready to do it. We have the determination to do it. Raúl Romeva is a member of the Catalan parliament which favours independence. A parliament set on a collision course with the Spanish government in Madrid. Y lo que tenga que ser España, lo tendremos que decidir todos los españoles. Javier Albiol is the leader of the Catalan branch of Spain's ruling People's Party. His party fiercely opposes the referendum that has been deemed illegal by the Spanish Constitutional Court. Police have raided Catalan government offices, seized ballot papers, and arrested at least 12 officials in a bid to stop the vote. Catalonia has been a part of Spain since the country first emerged as a unified kingdom in 1469. Famous for its spectacular human towers, a tradition dating back to the 18th century, Catalonia is one of Spain's wealthiest regions, incorporating the tourist hub of Barcelona and a thriving manufacturing industry. It already enjoys more self-government than almost any other European region. So why are so many Catalans discontented with their lot? Pro-independent supporters claim Catalonia is robbed by Spain. The gap between what Catalans pay in taxes and what they get back in services is 10 billion euros per year. That's around 4% of Catalonia's GDP. Is there a problem of taxing collection in Catalonia? No, there is not. So what is the problem there? Because they are the public resources, but if those resources are not used to improve the quality of life of the people, then there is a problem in the middle. Spain's financial crisis and the austerity that followed fueled the pro-independence movement, who claimed that Catalonia would be much better off on its own. But in many countries, the wealthy regions prop up the poorer ones. Opponents of independence say that being part of a bigger country will make everyone better off. España eh, es el país eh, de la Unión Europea que más está creciendo y que más puestos de trabajo está creando. Eh, tiene una repercusión directa positiva en favor de, de Cataluña. Por tanto, los argumentos son todos eh, unidos, somos fuertes. Under General Franco's dictatorship, Catalan could not be used in any official context. Since democracy was restored in 1978, the language has rebounded. A 2001 census found that Catalan was spoken by 75% of the population, and it is now the main language in the region's schools. But in 2010, the Spanish courts rejected a change to the constitution that would have given the Catalan language preferential status. Many Catalans viewed this as an insult, and it strengthened pro-independence feeling. First of all, we are Democrats, which means that when we demand to be treated as a mature society, we mean this. When we demand that the opinion of the people is taken into account, we mean this. Catalonia's pro-independence leaders claim that the referendum is a democratic right. Madrid's refusal to acknowledge this infuriates them. The ruling coalition was voted into power in 2015 on the promise of a referendum, and now they feel they have a mandate. It was a clear result. 72 MPs were elected defending the idea Catalonia should be a state. That's the huge majority of the Catalan parliament, which is 135 MPs. Uh, well, for the first time, we have a clear majority in the parliament defending that opinion. Nationalists say they have a mandate, but it's questionable. Although they gained 53% of the seats in parliament, they won only 48% of the popular vote. And opinion polls show that 71% of the population want a referendum, but only 41% are likely to vote yes. Todas las encuestas señalan que no existe una mayoría, ni mucho menos, en favor de la, de la independencia. Lo que sí que es cierto que existe un sentimiento de que algunos aspectos tienen que mejorar, 
pero en ningún caso el sentimiento independentista es mayoritario. The Catalan government is hell bent on proceeding with the referendum, setting a precedent for other regions, such as the Basque Country, to follow. With regional and state governments set to collide head-on on October 1st, the unity of Spain hangs in the balance.